All right, kick it off. All right. All my tame and all my wild, all my man and all my child, all my faults and all my scars, all my sometimes lucky stars, all my joys and my regrets, all my old Guy Clark cassettes. I knew the night we met, you get it all. All my lows and all my highs, all my truth and all my lies, all my rights and all my wrongs, all my from now on love songs, all my future, all my roots, all my worn out cowboy boots. I kick off in the fall, but you get it all. And I'd rather drive you crazy being more than you can stand than to let you try to love half a man. And all my cards are on the table, and darling, it's your call. But I'm all in, so lose or win, you get it all. Cloud of Texas dust, all my humble, all my bragging, all my on and off the wagon, all my feel place to hide, all my always on your side, all my catch you when you fall, you get it all. And I'd rather drive you crazy, being more than you can stand, than to let you try to love half a man. And all my cards are on the table, and darling, it's your call. But I'm all in, so lose or win, you get it all. All my blessing, all my curse, all my better, all my worse. From the chapel to the hearse, you get it all. Yeah, you do. You get it all. That's Hayes Carl, and that is the title track to a new album from you coming out, uh, I think, October 29th out on the Dual Tone Records. Is that right? That's it. Okay. You got it. All right. We're getting some sneak previews here with, uh, with a live session here in Studio B with our guest, Hayes Carl. We got that uh, single sent to us a couple weeks back, and I haven't heard any of the other songs yet, but I'm getting the impression that maybe... There's a little bit in that song that's kind of a, a thread or a theme throughout the album. Tell me if I'm wrong, but it's just, you know, about love, like loving others. It's about showing all of yourself, bear, bearing all of it, warts and all. Yeah, that song for sure. You know, there's the good and the bad. And, uh, um, you know, it took, it took me a while to realize that that's, that's part of it. I can't, just, I can't just try and show the, the good stuff. I mean, that's not a full picture or reflection of, of who I am, and it's not really fair to my partner to to pretend like it is so I as much as I and, and probably she wishes you know it wasn't a full picture all the time um <laughs> you know I've, I've, I've got my faults but uh but that's part of makes me who I am so uh yeah and this record it's it's um uh, it's about relationships uh, you know with with our with each other with your partners with your friends with the planet with uh, uh your children with with the world and um uh, so yeah, it's uh, uh, there's 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 some love songs on there, but there's all all types. So I'm I'm excited about it. Um, this this next one, I'm gonna everything I'm gonna do today is is uh, uh, gonna be off of that. And this next one is uh, uh, about uh, dementia, Alzheimer's. It's it's uh, about people who struggle with that. Uh, my, my grandfather um, uh, had had it. 
before he died. And um, uh, I was just, this is one I wrote with Josh Morningstar, and we were just thinking about what a struggle that is, not only for the person going through it, but uh, for, the, for their partners, spouses, their children, their friends, and people that are trying to support them, and, and uh, just how challenging and heartbreaking that is, so. Yeah, what was that loss from your grandfather? Was that uh, during this past year or so? No, this was it? this was many years ago, but um, it was. Um, uh, I think I was probably fifteen, um, and a couple things happened. Like as, as as this started to affect him, I remember one day he was just. Um, uh, we were in his pickup truck in Waco, Texas, and we were where he lived i didn't live there i just was visiting and he stopped at a stoplight and he turned around and he said i don't know where i am and uh and i didn't know where we were either and and uh it was very scary and and just sort of sad to watch this man who lived here all his life not know where he was literally in the middle of the street and um and then not long after that we had an interaction where he was being very uh short and cranky and, and my dad pulled me aside afterward and he said uh, don't remember your grandfather this way. Like, this is not who he was. You know, he's struggling. And uh, just always remember that, like that, because he was a sweet, loving man for most of the time I knew him. Um, he just had this thing that was affecting him that, that you know, took that away. He was very frustrated mm -hmm. with what was going on and, and didn't really, wasn't even aware it was happening necessarily. So yeah. that was some of what informed this song. There's a lot to learn uh, and digest from experiencing a close one going through dementia, whether it's Alzheimer's or something else, all the different phases. And, and also each each patient experiences it differently. And so yeah. then you experience different things. And then it's interesting how it can uh, take a few years to digest. I mean, that happened when you were 15. You wrote this song, what, pretty recently? Yeah, I'm 45 now. Uh -huh. so. <laughs> a few years have passed. Yeah. It's been on your mind. And then uh, recently it, it finally became a song, huh? Yeah, yeah, and it's it's funny how they come about. Like it's just, uh, I was just thinking about our partners as the sort of repositories of our memories and the you know the gatekeepers of as we get older. It's like who remembers our story and if we can't remember it. And I think about like sometimes my bandmates. Like I think down the road, I'm gonna call them up and say, you know, r remind me of that thing that happened at this time. And, yeah. And so whether it's your friends or your people you work with or your partners or your children. There are people who have seen your story and can help you remember it. And then that sort of led me to thinking about my grandfather and, and this song.